Oh, it looks like winter has begun. I think it's a wonderful time to make another video. It snowed suddenly, but that's no reason not to do business. So today I decided to set my motorcycle free. A good way to have fun and tell something interesting for you. At first I didn't plan to start the motorcycle, but I decided that warming up the engine in winter is a good idea. The motorcycle started easily and immediately. This is my Honda CRF 250L. It has an injection engine with a capacity of 250 liters. And here the capacity of the tank is only 77 liters. This motorcycle model has a consumption of about 4 liters per 100 kilometers. But if you drive on light off-road, you will have increased consumption due to high engine revolutions. So consumption can be 4, 5 or 5 liters per 100 kilometers. So you won't have enough fuel in the tank to drive even 200 kilometers a day. And now my motorcycle is very low on fuel. So I always carry an extra canister of fuel with me so that I don't have any problems on the road. So this video will be all about how you can avoid trouble on the road and how to use an additional canister. By the way, you can buy exactly such a canister on Amazon using the link below this video and also get a 5% discount on your purchase. So to begin, you need to open the tank of the motorcycle. And then open the lock that closes the pad of the additional tank. Then you just need to put the tank cover, lock and keys somewhere to keep it clean. And you also need to unscrew the cover bolt that holds the can in place. Just remove the canister. It is quite easy to remove. I want the insulating tape to avoid any vibrations, wobbles or extra sounds that the canister can make when I ride the motorcycle, especially off-road. See how the canister was deformed due to the temperature and pressure decrease. To equalize the pressure in the tank, you need to unscrew this small cap. Then you need to unscrew the lid of the canister. Remove the lid and cap of the canister. Pull out the gasoline filler. Turn the gasoline can on the other side and fix the can by twisting the lid of the canister without an additional plug. Also, you need to unscrew this small cap of the can to prevent the formation of a vacuum in the canister when you fill the tank of your motorcycle. This will allow the fuel to flow faster and prevent fuel spillage. You are now ready to add fuel to your motorcycle tank. I actually want to thank you for watching. I will be grateful for your like, comment and subscribe. And to collect the canister you need to do everything in the reverse direction. So first install the gasoline can inside the canister, cover it with a cork and screw the lid on. Also don't forget to screw on the small cap on the other part of the canister. Put the canister in place and tighten the fixing cap bolt. Next you need to install the lock in the hole with the correct side and simply pull out the key. That is all done. I want to remind you that you can purchase such a canister by following the link below this video and you will also receive an additional 5% discount. Thank you for watching and see you soon.